guys, this is how to solder a EC5 connector. Mm. So you're going to want your EC5 connector, the wires that you're going to be soldering to it, or like if you're soldering it to a battery or something. I just have these bars, for example, that we're going to use. Okay, strip the ends of the wires. This is 12 gauge wire. It might be a little harder to do on 10 gauge wire because the holes aren't so big, aren't extremely big. Okay. Once you strip the ends on both those wires, the red goes to positive, black to negative, and take some pliers and get your connector. You'll be filling this with solder in there, that little hole with solder to fit the wire. Okay, just put in your pliers like this. Make sure you get a pretty good grip on it from there. Okay. Take some solder. You're gonna need pro a lot of solder for this because you have to fill that whole top with solder, so I'll just get a lot and then fill it with solder. You want to fill it about three quarters of the way up. Okay, I got that. If there's any of that dirty stuff in there, just try to tap it out and once you've got that right there um, heat it up so all the solder has melted and it might take a while depending on the wattage of your soldering arm but this one's a 50 watt it takes just a little bit Make sure the tip of the wire is pretty clean, not too many wires sticking out. Okay, then heat it up right there, and then just take your soldering iron out, and then stick the wire in there. And then it will wrap a lot around the wire, kind of, and it will get a really good connection. If you want, you can pre-tune the tip of your wire with solder, but... To me, it doesn't seem like that has really made a difference. I've tried it both ways, and really, that's probably, if you can do that good, you can do it, but I don't know. And then once you've got the red wire done, put it in your positive side, and then you're going to push it in with something, and then whenever you hear it click, it's done, so it's done, it clicks like that, and it's in there pretty good and while you're doing it make sure that at all times the wires don't touch each other because if they touch each other it'll short out and that won't be good so once you if you're like hooking up a battery cut one side at a time and once you've done that one side and stuck it into this connector do it then do the black side because you do not want your battery to short out or anything. Okay, you've got the red one done, and now you just repeat it with the black wire. And the same thing, you get your solder, and then fill the top of it with solder. Remember not to put don't put too too much because when you try to put your wire in there it will the solder will come out a little bit if you put too much so just make sure you don't put too much but don't put like too less or the wire won't stick too good okay and same thing heat it up and get it, all the solder melted take it out stick your wire in there kind of blow it a little bit 
and white collar jaws. And then make sure the tip of it dries a little bit because if it's too hot and you stick it into a plastic, it might melt it a little bit. So just make sure it's not too warm and can it should be okay. Stick it in there. Push down till you hear it click. And you're good to go. And you are done with that. The, the EC5 connectors, if you do it this way, it's a very clean solder in there. You, and the tips and stuff. It's a pretty good connector and I love it. So that's what you need to do to solder an EC5 connector. Make sure red goes positive and black goes to negative. And you should be good if you just do it the way I told you. And it's pretty nice. Yeah. Thanks for watching.